Hiya guys, how you doing? It's me, Roger the Shave Lion. And what the heck episode is this? Oh yeah, that's right, it's episode 242. Hey, thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad you're here. Well, guess what? We're gonna go for a, a nice shave with a Chevette today. <laughs> you know when I play with the Chevette, it's always a dangerous thing, right? This is my, um, what do they call this? Classic Samurai. <laughs> this is a Classic Samurai Chevette. And, uh, it has a, uh, it has a, a, a razor blade in it. Blade specifically for this. I am trying to think of the name of it, but I can't seem to think of it. One moment, please. I'll look at my drawer. A derby. That's it. It's a derby um, blade in there, and of course it always causes lots of havoc on my face. So we'll see how I do this time. Hey, practice is perfect, right? Uh, top side, motorhead blade, go figure that, no. Hey, I like it, I like it, it works great up here. Okay, Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements, uh, Cedar Fever, there's the aftershave. Okay, I'm doing things a little bass backwards than I usually do. And Cedar Fever. By the way, this is uh, Texas Cedar Yellow Rose and Sweetgrass by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And there you have the lovely tin. And then I'm going to be using my Tampa Shave Company's 24mm synthetic brush. And a lovely brush it is. I love it. Okay. And of course I've got my scuttle, hot to trot, loaded, and ready. Very good. So how you doing today? I hope everything is going well. And I want to just underscore today the fact that the Lord is faithful. He is faithful in every single thing that He promises. Okay? We gotta hold on to that. That's very important. And the reason why it's so important is we must trust in the one who saves us. All right? We have faith in the one who is faithful in all things. That has to be for all who believe in him. And I pray that's your feeling too. But we're gonna take a look at one quick short verse today and just think about these things because they're very very important in our lives all right you guys let's get this party started join me for the soaping ladies and gentlemen boys and girls guess what here we have it we are set we are ready to go we are here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hydrate my brush quick very nice and I'm going to move the scuttle out of the way just for the moment. And then we're going to open up our Cedar Fever by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. There's a look inside the tin. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to drizzle some water on top of this to bloom it a little bit. Just a little bit more. Alright, we're going to bloom that. And make it very nice. Uh, all right, there we go. We're good to go. All we got to do is start whipping after we get that. Oh, and while I'm waiting for that to bloom a little bit, I'm gonna soak my towel and bring it out. And once again, as usual. I have a pretty hot towel today. Not as hot as yesterday, though. Yesterday, woo, 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 woo. it was really, really, really something else, let me tell you. Oh, well, there you have it. Okay, my towel is ready to go. And now we're going to go ahead and get rid of this extra water. Yes. And now we will go ahead and commence with the loading of the brush. Very good. We're gonna load her up. And we're loading it up really good. 
Here we go. Awesome. I've got plenty here. And I got plenty left over in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I am going to take the extras out of here with my finger and clean this up a little bit. And then I will have more than enough for my shave. Very good. Okay, that'll do. That'll do very nicely, thank you. All right. Getting my uh, fingers wiped off from trying to play with that soap a little bit. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and start whipping this up. Let's see what we can come up with. I don't know if we'll need to add any water to this because, once again, these large brushes that are uh, synthetic hold tons of water. I should know. I paint with synthetic brushes and I do watercolor. And believe you me, it's wonderful. Synthetic brushes do very good. Alright you guys, very good. I am going to call that good. Alright, and now let's bring out God's Word. Very nice. Let's see what we got for God's Word today. God, the Lord led me to this verse this morning and said, you will talk about this verse. This is from uh, Hebrews chapter 10, and this is verse 23 of chapter 10 of Hebrews. All right, here it is. And let us consider, no, hold on. Chapter, uh, I'm sorry, verse 23. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. So short, I'm gonna read it again, once again. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. God's word in a nutshell. A very small bit of God's word, but very important nonetheless. Let's go upstairs now and enjoy the shave and the devotion. Hiya guys, long time no see. <laughs> oh boy, got the hot towel here. Let's go ahead and get this face hydrated up, shall we? Present the towel. And I hope the Lord blesses my shave because I have my difficulties with the Shabbat. But you know what? Problems or not, I don't care. Just as long as I get a good shave. Alright. Here we go. Woo hoo hoo! That is some hot lather. Mm -mm -mm. Look how thick it is. That's awesome. There's some definite benefits to blooming your soap. And I used to think and say, actually even on this channel, that blooming was kind of a waste of time, but look, I'm changing my mind a little bit about that because the quality of the lather seems to be better. Wow. Alright. 
My friends, we have to hope in the Lord. We have to understand this. Jesus does not lie. He doesn't lie. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, big deal, Roger. Why would that make a difference? Because when we trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we need to be able to trust in Him and know that He's going to do what He says. Now, the problem that we often have, times we have problems with, including myself, mind you, because I'm not perfect, is we want things in our time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Believe me, I fight in my mind all the time about this one. Well, he said this would happen. Why hasn't it happened? And yet I'm missing the, the important part, that his timing is important. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. Woo! But I didn't do that with this against my face. All right, we're gonna get started. So the thing is, our Lord is faithful, and He can do anything. He's capable of all things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he really is. And, uh, we have a responsibility to believe him without wavering. He doesn't, you know, even talk, God's word talks about this. Don't be tossing to and fro like the waves of the sea. All right? In other words, make up your mind and stick with it. Make up your mind to believe in him and don't waver in it. Believe in him. And not only this, but don't lean on your own understanding. Okay? Kind of cut myself. Kind of weird. Ooh, gotta be careful. These things are sharp. <laughs> I'm using the wrong hand. Do you realize this? I'm crossing my body. Whenever you do this, you need to use this hand, this direction. <laughs> oh, sometimes I feel like I just learned to ride a bike or something, you know? It's me, I'm chatting. You realize that's what happens. I chat and get distracted. <laughs> well, it's a good enough excuse. What, I can, what can I say? <laughs> Yeah. So, you and I, by virtue of our faith in Jesus, need to learn to trust Him fully, without wavering. Alright? Now, this is not something that just happens. You know what I'm saying? This is something that we work through all our Christian life. And hopefully, God willing, our faith in wavering, our faith without wavering, will get stronger and stronger as years go by.
but I want you to I want you to understand this and know with certainty that you need I got myself really good I need you to to know with certainty that the Lord loves you and that he is faithful I definitely have to go against the grain, but I'm very careful over here. Because I cut myself a little bit. I'm not doing it crosswise. I'm just going a down and an up. I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm going to stay clear of that area there for the most part. Just my mirror a little lower here. So what do you think about this? What do you think about your life in Christ? And trusting in Him? You know, when I talk with the Lord, one of the things that sometimes I get a little miffed at, and I have to admit, you know, he does say some things that makes me concerned. And the only reason why is because I'm not leaning completely on his understanding. I'm trying to think with my logical mind. And yet, sometimes I wonder if I'm thinking with my logical mind at all. Beautiful shape, by the way. Because he will say stuff like, Roger, don't worry. Don't worry, my bride. Don't worry. In other words, he's trying to tell me. He's got it covered. He's got it figured out. I don't have to worry myself to death over these things. Why? Because he is faithful. He really is. He is faithful in all things. And yet, in love, he reminds me to hold on to that fact that he is faithful. It's not always to do that, especially when you're looking through these human sinful eyes and your logic interrupts your faith. Which is, you know, that happens, my friends. But he calls us. To have faith without waver. Because the one who makes his promise is faithful. And let me tell you, he is absolutely faithful in everything he says. In his timing, of course, but he is faithful. Trust in that. Alright, you guys, I'm going to the Chrome Dome. It definitely needs it. And so it's fast. Forward time, well it's fast, forward time, let it go.
I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> I love that line. That came from Looney Tunes, I think. Oh, yes. Much better. Much, much better. All right, you guys, it's time to do the scary part now. Once again, Phoenix and Artisan Accoutrements, Cedar Fever, Aftershave. The scary part, don't you know it? It's so funny. It burns like a son of a ding dong. You know? It really does. And then all of a sudden, ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> but I'm glad I use it because that'll help heal that cut. Yes. Might look a little scabby for a day or two, but it will get healed. All right, you guys. Remember, the Lord is faithful in all he does. He is faithful to you 100% of the way. Conform your heart and your mind to believe this. Believe in him, in faith, without wavering. Trust in him, because all of his promises are good, whether you like it or not. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a great day. I, I ask the Lord to bless you and keep you. May he give you Nick Free and baby butt smooth shaves. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you later. Totals!